Talked about family. Talked about, let's tell people a little bit about the ranch. For public notification, we're called a private Christian boarding school. Right. But you're not enrolling your son or filling out the application because he needs to go to school. Right, right, right. right. He needs a heart change. There's a behavioral (laughs) issue. They do go to school on the ranch. Mm -hmm. Um, We do the classroom there. All the credits are transferable back into their home school or whatever school they're attending um, before they came to the ranch. Mm -hmm. But we're very vocational heavy. What that Mm -hmm. means is we have welding shop class. Mm -hmm. We have wood shop class. We have maintenance class. We have photography class. We have apiary, which are the beehives. Mm -hmm. Um, They're just conversation creators. Yeah. Ultimately, there's a phrase that goes around the ranch that says shady tree conversation. Mm -hmm. That's all we're after. So when they go into the equine vocational, they're going to learn how to even take care of a horse. Mm -hmm. They learn how to train a horse. They learn how to ride. They learn how to ride competitively. Ultimately, we try to get them to a skill level that they actually do team roping. We have oh, man. cattle on the ranch, a, a huge challenge. That's now, so cool. It, it is cool, right? <laughs> now, do we think they're all going to go out of there and be cowboys? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> and, and at first, that's what they think. They, yeah. They're like, this is just dumb. I'm never going to ride a horse again. But you know, the reason they do that is because a horse is controlled by its fear. <laughs> right, right. Wow. And when this young man can't get that yeah. horse to start doing what he wants, or he gets aggravated because this horse has just scared him, now there's the... There's the shady tree conversation. Yes. Now we've got that opportunity to have that conversation. Yeah. Photography. When we started photography class, um, we really had no idea the impact it was going to have mm-hmm. or the response from the from the young men. As they're looking through the camera, they actually are seeing life from a from a different mm-hmm. viewpoint. Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden, the little details and like when Eric does the micro part of the class and. And all the different aspects, he, it's really, they're seeing God's creation through this lens right. that now tells a whole different story that they weren't mm-hmm. seeing you know, in the life they were living. Yeah. So it's a pause, <clears throat> and that's what those classes are for. So they learn all the aspects of photography, um, welding. Oh, my goodness. So these young men uh, are talented with drawing and, and their arts. And up until now, most of it's probably been not for the good kind. Right, yeah. So they get in that welding shop, and they mm. start working with Jerome or, or Shane, and their creativity comes out. And the stuff that they produce hmm. is incredible. We take a bunch of broken farm tools, uh, anywhere we can buy them or find them, and then these guys will turn this into some incredible bird. Yeah. Or, or they just have this picture in their head, and when they're done, you're seeing this, and you go, Wow, that's now I see it. We've had young men finish the program and go on into welding schools uh, in college and in technical schools. Wood shop, um, same thing. So the vocations are really there. We play sports. We play other schools in those sports. Um, but it's 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 they're boys. They need to stay busy yeah. with their hands. Yeah, that quiets our mouth. <laughs> but then those opportunities come. You know, they might be in the wood shop, and Gabe begins to realize something's off, and he'll just stop. And next thing you, know, you walk in there, and they're on the stools or in the chairs over here, not doing anything with the shop. Yeah. They're just having a conversation because this young man just had a really difficult phone conversation with his mom. Right, right. And the next thing you know, you're walking through that with them, and and all of a sudden, you have to be a good listener. Today's yeah. world and parents, and, and Stacy and I are parents. Mm-hmm. We are not good listeners, and especially as Christians, we have the answer, so we just want to give the answer. Right. <laughs> we don't want to listen to all the foolishness and the dumb ideas. Right. But we forgot that we had those same dumb ideas. Right. The the ranch is very busy from sunup to sundown for the most part. The weekend's yeah. a little milder, a little mm-hmm. less structured. It's still structured, but mm-hmm. not as much. Um, and uh, and so the, the vocational classes are really unique. They work with the bees. They love that. Mac does a fantastic job with them mm. in that. And it adds a whole other element of the photography you know, to that. So, yeah. yeah. So they, 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 uh, they come in, you know, knowing one thing and that's how to look at their phone and, yeah. and, and do whatever. <laughs> and, right. you know, these young men, Mark, um, when, it, when we have them finish the program, I will say at their graduation uh, celebration that, you know, they've done something that most adults cannot do. Mm. And I mean it with with every ounce of me because they come into the program and they're there 13 to 15 months. No cell phone, mm. no personal music, mm. no TV. Wow. And and no access to computer. 
other than in the classroom when they're in class. Right. <laughs> and we as adults, we couldn't put that phone down for mm -mm. 14 months. Mm -mm. 14 yet, days, 14 you, minutes. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. And so, so they really have accomplished something, and they begin to learn that. Mm -hmm. You know, and not every one of them sure. you know, says, well, I don't need a phone anymore. That's not it. Right. No, the phone can be very helpful, mm -hmm. but it can also be your greatest enemy. Right. So that's, how are you going to use it, right? That's right. Or the TV. The or the, or, yeah. Right. In our sports, we compete with other schools in PlayStation. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, so they'll play Madden against yeah. other schools. <laughs> so it's not that it doesn't exist. Yeah, right. But where does it fall in my daily you know, desires? The priority and the yeah. and use of time. Well, this is precisely what I wanted to happen. I wanted people to hear your heart and know a little bit about you. And then to know about the the ranch and and just the the opportunities you guys have there to lead people to Christ and disciple these young guys and their parents when you can enter into their lives at this young age and and teach them the Bible and the things of Christ uh, you are are maybe covering a multitude of sin um, quite frankly are in in lots of ways.